Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Belly. Do you like an easy, quick DIY that's actually wearable? I definitely do. And many dancers like this post that I posted a while ago about this 10 minute overskirt DIY. So I made another 10 minute project for you. It's a cowl neck top that can be used as a practice top or decorate it to make a costume top. It's a no sew project, so even if you don't sew, you can do it no problem. So let's get started. To make this cowl neck top, all you need is stretch fabric. Picking the right fabric is key for the nice drape at the neck. Get soft knit fabric, the kind of fabric used to make summer dresses, or other lightweight stretch fabric that drapes well. Half a meter is plenty. First, measure your underbust. Next, lay your fabric on the flat surface and check the direction of stretch. Fold the fabric in half so the fold is perpendicular to the direction of the stretch. Now here's quick math. First, divide your underbust measurement by 2, then add 20 centimeters or 8 inches. Let's call this length A. Then take your underbust measurement again and divide it by 4. We'll call this length B. Back to the fabric, measure length A from the fold and draw a straight line there. And from the end of the line, measure 8 centimeters or 3 inches down. From the long line at the top, measure 30 centimeters or 12 inches down and draw a line that's the same length from the fold, so that's length A. And from the end of the line, measure 8 centimeters or 3 inches up and draw a line there. Next, measure length B from the middle point on the fold and mark it there. Now we'll draw a curved line to connect the mark in the middle and the ends of the 8 centimeter lines. This does not have to be exact, just draw a smooth line. And cut along the line. And that's it! To wear it, first tie two ends at the bottom at the back. Then take the other two ends and adjust the length as you like and tie at the back of your neck. If you fold the top edge inside a couple of centimeters or an inch or so and tie at the back of your neck, the edge is more likely to drape inward. And here's what it looks like with the DIY shrug that I shared with you a few weeks ago. It was pretty simple, right? If you need matching tops for your dance troupe, try this one. And if you want a more professional finish, you can always add a seam allowance around all edges to fold in and do a top stitch all around it. But really, no one can see such details when you're up on this stage, and I think it looks great without it. Hope you like this cowl neck top, and if you did, please share it with your troop mates and students. And if you want to learn more about belly dance costume making, I have a new email course called Belly Dance Costume Making 101. It's free right now, so go ahead and get the course at sparklybelly.com slash bellydancecostumemaking101. I'll include the link below. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!